Yo, what's up guys? King Jerry here, and as you can see, we do have Team Banana Ball on this with Melo, LeBron, Wade, and Chris Paul. Now, I did put them on the Nets, because right now, they are the most irrelevant team in the NBA. Yeah, sorry, um, Celtics, your picks that are supposed to be super good just got screwed over. But, yeah, I basically put them on this team because every player on it is trash, so we can see if it just Banana Boat can carry a team to the championship, because... If they were all on the same roster, they're not going to have someone like DeMarcus Cousins here because they're not going to have enough money to pay for him. But definitely, I do want to trade these two. Probably in the offseason. I'm just, unless they're on a one-year deal, yeah, I'm just going to trade them in the offseason. I want to see how this team can do in year one. But real quick, I do want to move LeBron to power forward. And okay, let me, let me fix these minutes. I'm giving all of Banana Boat, like... A bunch of minutes like no one else on this team is even good Sean Kilpatrick you can be my six man I'll show you I'll just simulate at the end of the season I'm just gonna give everyone in the banana boat like uh, 38 minutes all right so LBJ manages to win MVP while on a team with three other all-stars so I don't know um, you're crazy LeBron Lonzo rookie of the year Mason Plumlee six man Drummond defensive player, D'Angelo Russell most approved. He is on the Rockets now. I traded him there for Chris Paul. I don't know, just to make the Rockets a little more balanced so it's not just James Hunt all alone. Um, Steve Kerr, coach of the years. They go 72 and 10. We went 58 and 24. There's LeBron, of course. Let's see, where is everyone else? All right, so no one else makes an all NBA team, but Chris Paul, all defensive first team. Okay, yeah, he had a mm, not his best season. LeBron, we already saw his stats. And, of course, we had no rookies. So I'm going to look at the player stats because I'm interested to see how everyone did. Oh, I didn't realize Melo would put up 20. So, yeah, everyone in it did good. Sean Kilpatrick, decent sixth man for us. So, I'm not going to do much to rebuild this team. Maybe just get some signings in free agency. Um, I'm hoping we can go for a three-peat in this video. So... That'd be pretty dope if we could win year one as we beat the Wizards in six. Okay, let's go. Raptors. Oh my gosh, we just came back from 3-1. Taking on the Cavs minus LeBron. Are you serious? Did just Kyrie and Kevin Love just beat us? Wow, that blows. So, no 3 p for this video. I'm fairly confident we would have beat the Thunder in the finals. But just a quick note, I did put everyone on the team on like four year contracts. So that none of them will be free agents throughout this video. Um, just for the sake of the video, I did that. And I also realized that if the banana boat were to meet up, it would not be on the Brooklyn Nets. I understand that, but I just put them on there because they're the most irrelevant team in the NBA right now. I think I already said that though. Okay, why not? Trading away this random guy, a first, a second, and Moskov for Billy Hernan Gomez and Kyle O'Quinn. I just got Billy Hernan Gomez so we could start at center force because we are going to have no money in free agency. And Moskov did not do anything special. So, probably going to trade Damari Carroll now to get someone better off the bench. And then I will see you at the end of the season because we are going to get zero signings in free agency. Trust me when I say that. I'm actually gonna try and trade him and Levert maybe I can pull in someone nice because we already have Kilpatrick to be our um backup shooting guard oh low key this is kind of a fire trade yeah I might end up doing that I'll see if I can find anything better but I doubt it oh I could get Valanchunas though and now Alright, so I'm going to take this trade to get Clarkson and Julius Randle. Thank you, Lakers. We just robbed you right there. So now I'll see you at the end of the season where our lineup should be pretty fire. Alright, so this is our lineup. Of course, we got Banana Bow in the 1 through 4 positions. Add Billy Hernan Gomez at center. And our bench is looking significantly better with um, the additions of Clarkson, Randle, Kylo Quinn, and Sean Kilpatrick is still here. So I will see you at the end of the season where hopefully we can win this championship and then win it next year to get a 2 P because 2K cheated us out, out of a 3 P. Alright, so here's your awards. Westbrook, Porter, Bogdan, Bogdanovich. I just realized his first name is also in his last name, but added in Ovich. That's pretty funny. 
Uh, drum and defensive player, DJ McConnell most improved, and coach Sayer Kevin McHale for the Warriors once again. Where are the Nets players? Alright, only LeBron again. Yeah, okay, there's Chris Paul though. We'll look we'll look at everybody's player stats. Um, okay, let's go ahead and look at the player stats this year. Okay, so Melo a little bit less scoring, but that's because we have the addition of Clarkson, Randall. Not bad from Hernan Gomez, almost a double double. So I will take it. Hopefully, we cannot get cheated by 2K and actually make it to the finals this year and hopefully win it. Okay, gentlemen, sweep. I will take it. Cavs, you beat us last year, but we're gonna beat you this year, bro. You know what? Screw this. I'm not even going to season number three. 2K is cheating me so bad. Some of the Cavs without LeBron are able to beat the Banana Boat Squad. So I guess the Banana Boat Squad couldn't even make it out of the uh, conference finals even or out of the second round i don't know i'll see you guys in the next video and i'm out peace